hello there and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be trying out some of the shine makeup that i showed in my haul um the other week or a few days ago i don't know when that video was even going up i've not even edited it at this point but you will hopefully have seen it at this point so i am so excited to actually try out these products so today we're going to be trying out the cream blush uh, this is a kind of stick um stick pan stick kind of thing uh this is in the shade wild love i'm so excited about this i mean i'm excited about everything so i don't think i need to keep saying i'm so excited because even like it's annoying me at this point why do i look so low down like why it's like i'm here in the court oh my gosh no sorry guys let me just like correct this okay right i think that's a bit better now i'm actually like mostly in shot so <laughs> next we're going to be trying out the sun sculpt liquid bronzer and um, i'm going to be using this as like a contour today it's a cream product uh, and i do like cream products and um i also I like snacking as well. I love snacking. We're also going to be trying out the waterproof mascara, which is meant to be super lengthening. Is it lengthening? I don't know. I'm sure it was lengthening. I think it was lengthening. Do you know what? This is the problem when you throw away all of the actual the the boxes, like the packaging that has the descriptions on. You're a little bit lost at sea, but oh well, winging it today just like I am every other day. So the last product we're gonna be trying out today is the double-ended lip product. We have a lip liner on one side and a lipstick on the other side. I have to say that out of all of the products, this is the one that I'm most kind of excited to try just because I can't think of a better idea for a makeup product than a lip liner and a lipstick in one. It just makes so much sense to me. Anyway, what should we try first? I, oh, also guys, I did want to mention that I was going to try these, um, you know, under eye cards as well, but I am going to be saving them for a bit. I've decided to just do the base first and then I'm going to finish off with the eyes. I, I know I look really strange right now because like I feel like my eyes are tiny because I've got quite a medium to full coverage foundation. So I feel like, oh my gosh, it looks a bit strange. Also, um, yeah, Salem's still in heat. Uh, we thought it would only be like three days. That's what Google said. No, it's almost a week at this point. And oh my gosh, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. Um, we are going to be getting uh, Luna and Salem both spayed. Um, just for info, uh, if anyone's interested. But um, we obviously we kind of left it too late and um. Now we are definitely suffering the consequences of that. What should we do first? Should we do the layer? Should we do? Do you know what? I'm gonna do the uh, the contour first because I feel like that kind of helps frame everything. Also, just to note, I'm wearing uh, one of my beautiful necklaces that I also got from Shine. I just think this necklace is. It's just everything I've ever wanted in a in a necklace, honestly. It's just one necklace. Honey's was super surprised when I said that. I don't know, maybe he was just like acting. But he was like, what? That's one necklace? I don't know. Maybe he was just like feigning interest. But anyway, it is one necklace. It cost me like, I don't know, like two pounds. Bargain. Okay, so for bronzing today, we're using the Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer. So it comes in this cute little tub tub no it's not a tub it's a what is that bottle would you say bottle jar i'm just gonna go with vestibule okay so it's a vestibule the applicator is a sponge and it kind of looks like a nipple and i'm all for that so this is in the shade soft tan and it does look to be an extremely like cool tone brown so okay i'm just gonna put do you know what? I'm going to start small. I'm just going to go in with like a couple of drops. I don't want to go in like with too much in case the shade doesn't work or, you know, it's it's like super spreadable, you know, like COVID. Oh my gosh, is it too early to make COVID jokes? Probably, but anyway, right. So it's looking very cool toned actually. Like, okay, anyway, right. So I'm just going to use my sponge to blend it out. Oh no, this could either be great or a disaster but what i can tell you for sure right now is that i'm really pleased that i only used like the tiniest amount i always feel like i should be buying like super cool toned 
Like bronzes? I think I'm wrong. Anyway, can you actually see anything? I mean, I can't really see anything. I cannot see any difference. It's just kind of blended out to nothing. Maybe like I should be going in with a brush because I feel like my sponge has simply just eaten all of that product. Because this is a, um, you know, it's a cream. The sponge was thinking, wow, a feast for me. Okay, so plan B is to blend this out with a brush. So that's, what are we doing? You know what? I cannot see it. I can maybe see like a, a very slight difference. Like a, it's very subtle. Let me do the other side before I judge it. But I mean, what I can definitely kind of say at this point is that. Oh my gosh, Salem! I'm so sorry. Like if you can hear that wailing in the background, that that is Salem in in heat. Anyway, all right, so just pop that there like that. If you don't like a cool tone contour, don't go with this. Don't, just don't, don't do it. I know what you're thinking right now. I just know it. You're thinking, why is that Anne Renault to not tying her, her hair back for this? Like, would that not make her life a bit easier? It would, but I've decided I want to go for the glamour today. I've put my little halo extension in because I'm I'm all about the halo extension life at the moment, but I am kind of regretting it because it, it is making my life a bit more difficult. But do you know what? Like, I think it's worked. Like, you can see a slight chisel, but it definitely does look quite, you know, like, um, like it, it's grey. It kind of looks grey. I'll just pop it, like, a little bit more. I could live to regret this. Like, I could definitely live to regret this, but, oh well. Live and let live. Carpe diem. You only live once, and all of those other sayings. Oh, by the way, look. Oh my gosh, how did I completely, completely manage to miss that little spot on my nose? I mean, it, this product definitely does blend out, like, so easily. But I just think that I should possibly have gone in with a warmer shade if they sell a warmer shade i'm not too sure but i, I suspect that they would do but i have a feeling that one's probably gonna be too orange and then i'd be complaining that i look like an umpa lumpa but i mean it's okay but i definitely think there is a very very fine line between it giving you that kind of contoured like chiseled look and uh, just looking like gray like you just have no idea about what contour shade to pick out for yourself. I don't know, it's always tough when you shop online, isn't it, guys? Look at me, making the excuses. It's always tough, isn't it, guys, trying to pick your shade. I don't know, like, if I had to give this product a rating out of 10, I would give it, like, 8 out of 10 for the, you know, how the product performed. Like, super easy to, to apply and blend out. And I would definitely say that um, if they did have this in, like, a slightly warmer shade, I would definitely want to give it a go i love the applicator head just think that this whole like you know cream kind of contour product it, it's it's very easy generally to apply i think it's easier than a powder contour so yeah but this shade unfortunately means that that product is going to probably sit at the very back of my makeup drawer for the next six months until i spot it and then i'll be like oh yeah I don't think you worked for me and then it's just gonna end up being like given to someone else okay so next we're gonna go in with the cream blush as i said this is in the shade wild love and it comes in this like pan stick so you've got like this twisty twisty bottom situation and then um oh it's not twisting oh no oh no sorry that's not a twisty bottom situation that's a little uh brush that came with it that i probably will never use so you just twist it there okay that at the base that makes sense okay so guys anyway let's just go in with this i'm just gonna pop a little bit oh do you know what this could do with being a bit more emollient and i know like i'm always moaning about things being too emollient this needs to be a lot more emollient 
Okay, so I'm just gonna like rub it on my hand there. You can see a little swatch, and um, hopefully that's made it a little bit more agreeable to blending. Okay, just put some like that. I'm just gonna try to put it a bit more kind of focused on the upper parts of my cheeks. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna use that just to blend the product in. Yeah, I was expecting it to be a lot more moldy than it was. I mean, I just feel like it was a bit tricky just to get it on on the face, you know? But, I mean, it looks beautiful. I just fucking hope it's going to blend because it's at this current time, it's looking like it's quite happy where it is and, you know, it's got no plans on moving. I mean, okay, so definitely, like, not the most pigmented product ever um you, but you know you can see it <laughs> you can see it and what i do actually um really like about it is this kind of subtle kind of you know lit from within sheen that we've got going on with just a slight discreet pop of peach you know i mean who wants a blush to be like overly pigmented anyway you know nas i'm looking at you guys over there i mean really you know we don't need a super pigmented blush as long as we can kind of build it up a little bit which is exactly what I'm going to do just going to put a second layer on do, 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 do. okay it feels a bit more emollient now I think it, it um, just needed to warm up a little bit you know pounce, 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 pounce. so I did try another cream blush from Shine a while ago and I absolutely loved it it came, I've actually got it I have got it, where is she? Oh, she's down here. Oh my gosh, that was handy. It comes in that same kind of beautiful packaging as the um, contour did. So this one is in the shade Orgasm. Oh my gosh, I really love this. Do you know what? If I'm not kind of completely happy with how it looks after I've blended it out, would anyone have any issues if I just actually went in with the other one? Because I really like the other one. I've not used it in ages. Um, and I mean, I, what I love about this, okay, and I'll say this right now, if you just want a natural, understated, uh, subtle, lip from within glow, just to top off like a radiant look, like say, for example, you've just gone in with tinted moisturiser, you've just gone in with a bit of a liquid highlight, but you just want a tiny pop of colour and just a little bit more glow just to, you know, make your face look naturally radiant then I would say that this cream blush will be oh my gosh like perfection but if you want anything more than that maybe not perfection but anyway guys because we're here and it is a shine makeup video uh, we're going to go in with a bit of orgasm because I remember that I absolutely love this so I'll just pop a little bit there yeah this one because it's not like a pan stick and it's actually like a cream. This is just like super easy to apply, super easy. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, that's just added a je ne sais quoi that we all wanted and desperately needed. You know, it's just giving my cheeks that pop of life. Okay, so although I am really pleased that I've tried this Wild Love uh, blush, I am just so happy that I had orgasm today because I just feel like, yeah, this one is definitely my favourite out of the two. And I would definitely recommend like this style of cream blush over the pan stick style. It's just my personal opinion. But yeah, I just think you get a bit more pigmentation and it's it is definitely easier to you know blend out in this kind of cream format uh, also you get to enjoy the nipple sponge as well which oh my gosh like we all need a bit of like nipple sponge joy in our life so um yeah i'm, I'm probably not going to use this again it's going to go into my um pile of makeup that i don't really like that i'm going to try and you know, palm off to friends and family. So, yeah, yo. Okay, so next we're going to be trying out the product that I have been eagerly awaiting and anticipating. So, this one is the Double Ender Lip Liner and Lipstick in One. This is in the shade Soft Chai. Soft Chai. But we have the lip liner at one side. And it looks like that. 
it's like a beautiful uh, kind of nudey brown shade and then we've got the lipstick side that looks like that and what i really like about this is that the lipstick shade is lighter than the lip liner shade because i really at the moment like that kind of 90s lip look where the lips are kind of framed by a darker outline it just adds you know a bit of like a 3d effect and i just i'm really digging it right now okay so let's begin with the lip liner oh my gosh so i can't say enough good things about this the lip liner was soft creamy smooth went on super easily and i really like the shade and the actual lipstick itself i mean this shade like i don't know how to describe it it's kind of like a peachy brown well i mean i love it i absolutely love it i can honestly say i have no other shade like this in my entire lipstick collection and i have like a lot of lipsticks so for me to be able to like actually like you know enjoy a new shade oh my gosh it's like oh my gosh i was just about to say has christmas come early but then it's like oh no christmas was literally last week so um anyway my expectations for this product have been so beautifully met and i would definitely recommend i can't quite recall if they did have any other shade like and i'm like i'm saying this and i'm like 99 percent sure that they did have other shades available in this kind of duo kind of product uh so i'm probably gonna be getting more like i'm not gonna probably be doing like going on just to buy them but like next time i do a haul and you know because i'm not I'm, I'm not someone that will just go on and buy like on shine i don't just go and buy bits here bits there bits there i just do it like maybe like a quarterly kind of oh let's just buy a fat load of shit i don't need from shine kind of um shopping spree kind of thing so this would definitely be on my list for something i will buy next time it's totally okay so next i'm gonna be doing my eye look and i am gonna be using the two little uh leaf things do you know what i'm just looking at myself and i'm thinking Oh my gosh, like why do anything else? Just pop these on and call it a day. I will be like the leaf lady today. Like that will be me. I just think they look fabulous. Yeah, anyway, I was gonna like, pop these on. Oh my gosh, I just think I look so good. I look like a superhero. Oh my gosh, leaf lady. Watch out, she's about. Hmm, she's going to come and photosynthesize you. Anyway, right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm going to stick these bad boys on. I'm going to do my eye look. I probably, I won't show you it all. I'll just like, I'll just give you a review at the end of like how I found these. And then we're going to finish off today's video with the mascara. If you've watched like any of my like recent like videos where I've done an eye look, I, I can never get them symmetrical like I can never get the under eye guard symmetrical and I'm hoping that because these have like you know indents and like things on them I'm hoping that it may be like a little bit easier just to just to get them to like be symmetrical but do you know what I'm just thinking maybe my eyes just aren't symmetrical you know like I'm sure one eye is bigger than the other I'm, I'm like 100% on it like one of my eyes is smaller than the other one and it really it does bother me a bit because i see it in photos and i'm like hmm and i tried to deny it for a while but i i mean I, i'm not going to deny it anymore i you know one eye may be bigger than the other and that's okay there's me saying that i thought these would be easier i lied to myself okay go on i'm gonna stay i'm gonna go with it just kind of because i can't be asked anymore uh are we going with it oh my god no we're not see this is probably why they don't stick on my face because i put them on and off about a million times okay anyway right they feel secure and i once again feel the most fabulous i've felt in a long time with these leaf stickers on like this could be the look i really i may not take them off after i've actually finished the eye look but anyway guys right so i'm gonna do my eye look and then i will let you know at the end how these have coped i understand if you may not be interested in these one little bit oh what's going on with this necklace i knew something was not right
Okay, so I just have to like jump in here and say I have no idea like where is this eye look going today. I have no idea. I literally have no idea. I I'm a bit lost. This eye guard thing is coming off. I have no idea. Like what am I even doing today? I don't know. I I Okay, so I took that eye sticker off before I remembered I was filming a video today. So okay, there goes the other one. Okay, so in terms of these eye stickers, I actually really like them and they have caught quite a considerable amount of fallout and, you know, considering that was not my number one reason as to why I was wearing these, okay, great, what a amazing added value, the benefit there. They did actually stick on better than any other under eye, um, you know, sticker thing that I've ever tried, so I like them for that too. I can't complain, like, I think these were really, really good. They're they're big, they're juicy, they're leafy, they're everything you would want from, you know, a um, fallout guard. I need to, to know, like, what is a proper name for them? But should I just call them under eye thingies? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to finish off the rest of the eye look and then we'll be back to try the mascara. By the way, yeah, the eye look, I still have no idea, like, where I'm going with this, but I'm enjoying it. Just try, you know, throwing different colours at my eyes. I kind of like it when you don't really have a plan and you, I've literally been through about five different eyeshadow palettes so far so yeah i'm enjoying this but anyway i promise i'll be back soon and we'll do the mascara oh just to mention as well because i've just done my cut crease but oh god yeah look what the hell is going on with my lips and even though i really really love like the look of this uh, lip product it yeah it feels not the comfiest i do think that it would have good lasting power okay yeah so i mean i've just kissed my oh you can see a tiny mark but Let's, wait, let's try again. So I'm going to kiss there. Oh yeah, actually, no, there's, there's no low, like a huge transfer, but there's a transfer. But I do feel like he's kind of stuck on my lips. And because of that, it's slightly kind of drying. But like, what's going on here? I feel like this is a lip product that I couldn't necessarily trust, you know, to kind of pop on and just go about my day. Um. Oh, I've just remembered I've not powdered my face. I was wondering why all my foundation was like patching off. I've not powdered my fucking face. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to save this. Oh, because it's going to save the whole fucking look. I don't even know what is going on with the eyes today. I'm going to bring it back though, guys. I am. I promise you this. Next time you see me, my eyes will look fabulous. I hope. Like, I don't know for sure. I'm just faking it till I make it. Okay, so I finally finished freaking around and I have uh, finished the eye look. This is what we have going on. Honestly, like it started off like peach, then it went to plum, then it went to green, and now it's ended up this kind of purpley shade. So it was a whole journey, but I kind of like how it's ended up. So anyway, guys, we're now ready to try the mascara. I've not curled my lashes or prepared them in any way. Uh, this mascara apparently is super lengthening. It didn't mention anything about being volumizing, which is a bit sad because I would much rather have, you know, volume over length if you know what I mean. But uh, anyway, that's not what we've got today. Also, this is waterproof, which I think if I'd spotted that, you know, when I was actually buying it, I, I maybe would not have bought it because I I don't like a mascara that is super hard to get off. I'm not being, you know, squirted on. I don't need, I don't need a waterproof mascara. And for me, I just feel like all it does is just make it much harder to remove at the end of the day. So I can't be doing it. I know a lot of people do like it though, so I'm not knocking it. But just for me, no, thanks. No, thanks. Oh my gosh, just before I begin, can I just say how much I, I really appreciate this super glitzy packaging. Okay, so this is what the one looks like. Okay, it's huge. It is fucking huge. Okay, so considering how super size the actual wand is i'm actually finding it really easy to apply also i believe that these are natural uh, uh i don't know what i was about to say but you know what i find as well just because i've completely forgot what i was going to say but what i find is that waterproof formulas tend to just be really sticky and it kind of makes sense because I suppose like they have to be stickier to stand the test of time and 
you know, win the fight against water, but it just feels like super sticky. And so it makes it really difficult to like, you know, if you want to build it up, it just like, it seems like an impossible job. I know, I'm going to come to the lips in a minute, guys. But anyway, so I definitely don't feel like we've got volume. I don't feel like we've really got length, if I'm being honest. What we do have is very sticky lashes, like very sticky lashes. Okay, so I think that's like the best that we're going to get them. Unfortunately, this formula is just so sticky. It's impossible to really like build it up. Um, I think the look is okay, but definitely nothing like that would make me want to like reach for this mascara again, especially considering the fact that I know it's going to be more challenging than usual to remove because it's waterproof. So I, I, I don't really think this is anything special, although I do think it looks nice. Like it, it definitely like it doesn't look horrible. It looks nice, but it I just don't think like it's giving me a lot of length or a lot of volume. And I didn't really like the application experience. Just I mean, I've said it once and I'll say it again. It's fucking sticky. It really, really was. And do you know what? In protest, I'm not gonna apply it to my lower lashes. Number one, because the wand is fucking huge and I don't trust myself not to smear it everywhere on my upper portion of my face and secondly uh because it, it's waterproof and it's just gonna be more more trouble to try and remove so uh, yeah i'm not gonna put it on the lower lashes but i am going to just finish off by the way does it can like does it look too like i've even got any blush on today like just look at it like yeah i suppose you can see very subtle though but you can definitely not see how done any contour today though can you let's be honest here oh my gosh everything's looking such a mess up on my head anyway right don't get distracted by anything now later okay so this is the final look the blushes like i know we ended up trying two today uh and i definitely preferred the um you know this one this is definitely like the kind of formula I would recommend over this pan stick type. Yeah, I mean, both of them are pretty subtle, but you could definitely build this one up more. And I would say that if you want to get a new blush, go with this formula over the stick. So I was really impressed with the um, the contour, actual like the, the product. I thought the formula was extremely easy to blend out. I think the only issue was the shade for me. And I know I could definitely have just built it up and built it up and built it up, but I was a bit scared that because the shade was so cool toned, it would just end up looking like grey, you know, just a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately, um, I didn't like this based on the shade, but I would definitely consider buying the same product, but in a different shade, because I really did like the cream aspect of it and how easily it did blend out. As we've just seen, the mascara is a definite no for me. Like, I would just wouldn't recommend it. Uh, not because I think it's, like, terrible, but just because I think there's better mascaras out there. Okay, so we're just going to end with the lip product. So, as you saw, like, I absolutely love the shade. I love the whole premise of this duo lip product. But it just, it's, I don't know, I don't know what is happening. Maybe I didn't properly clean my lips before applying it. It's just like there's a tidal wave or tide on my lips and I don't like it. So, I really like the shade. I love the, the premise. But I, the longevity wise, I don't think it has it. And maybe it's just like my lips are not the best base for a lip product. I find that, I don't know, I'm the kind of person that like my lips are very high maintenance and they don't do well with certain lip products. They, I don't know what it is. Maybe I just have a dry mouth the whole time and my lips get dry. I mean, here I am making excuses for the product, but fundamentally, I just don't think this product has a very good longevity. And for that reason, unfortunately, I wouldn't recommend it and I wouldn't repurchase. And I feel really sad about that because I really did like this when I first tried it. But anyway, guys, I am going to go now. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed filming it. Um, my standout product of the day is actually a product that I didn't feature in the haul at all because I've had it for ages, but it was this. It's called the Clear and Bright Liquid Blush. It's by the Shiglam brand and this was in the shade Orgasm. 
And this was my definite favourite product of the day. And this is the product that out of everything I would say, oh my gosh, like this is the one to try. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Look, I couldn't even smile. Did you see that? Like I can't even smile properly because my lips feel all, all crazy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go wipe this with my lips because, oh my gosh, I'm not, not feeling it, let's say. I'm not feeling it, let's say. I'll see you next time. Bye. I can't smile. Oh my gosh, like literally what's going on.